Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I am back with a look at the newest release from By the Will for God. This is Poured Out for the month of March, uh, kind of an Easter-themed kit. I will have it linked down below for you guys, as well as all of the uh, extra things that they have as well. I do have those off to the side here. We will go through those. Um, there are timestamps in the description box, so if there is something specific that you want to see or hear about or look, whatever, uh, you can jump to that timestamp. Uh, I do just want to say that if you go over to grab this kit there may be some things sold out that you see in this video I am a little late getting the kit just because of the weather here in California it got delayed um, and so I know many of you have already gotten the kit um, and then on top of that it arrived you know during the week while I'm going to school and so typically I only film on the weekends but I'm trying to sneak this in here before everything is sold out so bear with me if this video is a little rough um, it is late at night it's the middle of the week you know it's gonna be a mess but we are gonna get through this. Uh, if there is something sold out and you're bummed about that, I would definitely um, encourage you guys to take advantage of the email list that By the Will for God does. Um, that is the best way to not miss out on things. Um, they send out emails periodically with updates to the shop. Uh, and then the night before a release, they send out a detailed email with a look at the release, the time it's going to be released with all the links that go active at the time. Like they've got everything there for you. Um, and then Lori from By the Will for God typically does a complete like unboxing look at the release a few days before the release over on Instagram. So um, there are ample opportunities to see what's in the release. Um, that way you don't miss out. Uh, I try to get these up as quick as I can, but that's just not happening as quickly as it typically does um, right now with everything going on. So I apologize if you missed out on something that you wanted, but uh, at the time of the filming of this Tuesday evening, uh, there are still kits in the shop. So I'm hopeful that there, um, there were well under a hundred left. So there should still you know, hopefully be a couple there for you guys if you see this video and haven't grabbed it yet. But uh, so this is poured out. Uh, I have the thank you card here. If you've never opened or if you've never ordered from uh, By the Well for God before, uh, they include all kinds of fun extras for you as well. So this is my little pouch of freebies. I'm going to keep that as a surprise for those of you who like surprises. But uh, even if you're just placing an order for other things outside of the kit, um, you will typically get some kind of little extra bonus goodie uh, in your order from them. They are just very, very generous. Uh, and then depending on, you know, how much you spend, uh, determines kind of the different freebies you get as well. So you get your thank you card with information about the kit, where you can find By the Will for God on all their social media, including that email list that you definitely want to be a part of. Um, and then the hashtag for this kit. So BTW4G underscore poured out. So By the Will for God underscore. That's pretty typical. If you can't remember what the uh, hashtag is, if you lost your little card, it's usually BTW4G underscore and then the name of the kit is um, a way to search that. So you can use that when you're posting with this kit. That way we can see how you're working through it and be encouraged and inspired. Um, and then vice versa. If you are needing some encouragement and ins inspiration, search that hashtag and see how um, other ladies are working through it. And then the same goes for other kits. If there's something that you were curious about, if you've maybe picked up an older kit uh, that you know there aren't current postings about that, you can search that hashtag and then be able to see what was created with that kit. So I love that they do that. And then you've got your little bonus extra goodies in there. And then what I have here is the devotional kit. So yes, there are a lot of things in the release um, that coordinate with this kit, but this is really kind of the meat of it. So if you are new to Bible journaling or not quite sure where to start, um, this is a good place to start. The kit includes just about everything you need outside of like a pencil or a pen, a paintbrush, and a glue stick, and you are good to go. So uh, I will be sharing the rest of the release with you in this video. I don't have everything from the release. I uh, chose not to get some of the extras just because I don't have time to use them, and so I don't want to just have things just for the sake of putting it in a video. I'm trying to be more mindful about that um, and to use what I have. So um, there is plenty here for me to work with and I'll insert photos of those things that I didn't um, grab. So this is poured out. Uh, it does come with a full devotional booklet here and it is a 14 day devotion like we typically see from them. And so the idea is that you would work through the devotional one day and then creatively journal the next day and that would take you through an entire month. Uh, and so rather than doing like a 40 day project or, you know, some kind of specific thing like that for Lent or Easter, they are sticking with their traditional 
um, devotional style. So that kind of gives you some flexibility. Honestly, takes a little bit of pressure off of doing a daily project, which is really nice. Um, but it is, uh, you know, themed for this time. And so uh, I'm just going to share with you the introduction. And that kind of gives you an idea of what is included in the devotional. Now, I will say that, you know, this may be a topic that you have studied before, um, but don't just skip it because of that, because their devotionals always include so many extra things. I always learn something from their devotionals. So even if the umbrella topic is something that you are familiar with and have studied before, um, there I'm sure is something in here um, that you will find new, whether it's a word study or a you know, historical fact about the Old Testament or something, they include lots of depth in their devotionals. So for this one, they share that Passover and Easter are inextricably linked. It was during Passover that Jesus was crucified. And then three days later, he was raised from the dead. In 1 Corinthians 5, 7, Paul identified Jesus as our Passover lamb and the gospels draw the connection between Jesus' sacrifice and the Passover lamb. We see that in John 19, 33 and 1936. And then we read in John 1, 29, that Jesus is is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus is also repeatedly identified as the Lamb in Revelation. The original Passover Lamb was offered by the Hebrews enslaved in Egypt, and as directed by God, the blood of the Lamb was painted on the door frames to mark the homes over which the plague of death of the firstborn was to pass. Clearly then, this first Passover sacrifice was not for the forgiveness of sins, but Jesus is more than a lamb. He is the lamb. Explore with us in this next study how Jesus is both the Passover lamb and the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world when his blood was poured out. So really great study. A lot of um, information and verses in the Old Testament. Um, but, you know, of course, New Testament as well. Every day has just multiple scripture to study. And it looks like there are some areas to journal directly in the booklet, but then like day 12, um, there isn't as much room. So you may want to pick up, you know, an extra journal or something to do your reflection in, um, you know, if you're wanting to do more than what you include in your journaling Bible, because they typically have, you know, some kind of like questions or, you know, something at the end of the day to help you think about the devotional for that day and, you know, kind of direct you towards, you know, a place to study. So, um, you know, just really great devotional content. I'm going to be changing things up. Let me show you what I will be, um, doing my reflection in. Okay, so in past months, um, at least last several kits, I have been doing all of my notes in a growth book. I get lots of questions about this. I did share about this in my 2022 Bible stack video at about minute 24. I'll link that video down below. I show all the details of this growth book. It really is an amazing journal um, just because of the extra features that are in here, but it's these extra features that are actually the reason I'm switching into a different type of journal um, starting with this next kit. And so, uh, I, you know, for each kit, take all of my notes in here. I write out every single, uh, verse. I write down any like commentary or quotes from, you know, different theologians that I'm looking at or pastors. Um, and then I include word studies and all that goodness in here. Uh, but I was only able to get roughly six kits in this journal. Um, I finished up last month's kit and I have like six pages or so left, but it's not enough pages to do an entire, um, you know, month long devotional in. And so I just felt like, you know, for the price that I pay for this journal is not worth it to only get six, you know, kits worked through it. Um, I do really love the dot grid and the white paper and all that goodness, but, um, I just felt like there was probably a better, a better way. So I still use my other growth book for sermon notes and podcast notes and kind of what it was created to be used for. Um, but when it comes to journaling, uh, through these kits, I just picked up a regular notebook. It did not need to have all of the extra sections, uh, that the growth book has. So this was a journal that I found at Target. Um, if I can find it online, I will link it down below for you guys. I will say it is a bummer that it's cream. I do definitely prefer the white pages over the cream and the dot grid over the lines, but you know, you got to make sacrifices when you're on a budget. So, um, this is just lined notebook paper. And so I will be doing all of my note taking, uh, in this. It's still similarly sized paper is, 
you know, not as thick as the growth book, but I'm not painting. I'm just taking notes uh, and that kind of thing. So this is what you will be seeing in future videos um, as I show notes and things like that. So uh, every one of these verses, so even the days, you know, that have huge sections or, you know, whatever it is, I write every bit of that out. And there is something about the slowing down and writing out the scripture that just really kind of helps focus my attention to it. Um, you know, you're really paying attention to each and every single word in the, in the passage as you are writing it out, uh, you know, helps commit it to memory a little bit better. And so, um, that is just something I have found extremely helpful. And so I've kind of turned to spending more of my time writing out scripture than like creatively, journaling notes or things like that. So um, I will be filling up that notebook with notes from poured out as we look at, um, you know, Passover and the lamb and Jesus. So super excited to work through that. So for the other goodies that are in the bag, this is all in there for you to kind of help you know, help you creatively worship through the devotional. Uh, you're going to start out with this little flare pin here. So this is kind of nice for taking outside of your Bible. I like to attach these to the top of bow clippies. If I'm using bow clippies in my Bible, uh, you can put it on the front of a book bag, Bible cover. Um, you may have seen recently, I've been doing some um, journaling in Bibles that are covered in fabric. And so you could attach that uh, to the fabric. Um, you know, if you left it loose enough when you covered your Bible, you could attach those or something like that. So just kind of a fun little extra in there. You have your verse card. So this usually has a key verse from the uh, devotional. So for this month, we have Hebrews 9, 14. How much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God? And then you get to fabric clippies on there. You can use them as is or tear them apart. I like to pull them apart and kind of rearrange the bow. Um, there are two strips of fabric in here, so they're front and back, uh, but I will even like use them just as ruffle textures or little tabs off of things. Uh, I just like to deconstruct them and use them that way. So don't be afraid to take things apart. You get a set of die cuts. There are 25 pieces in here, and then there's a texture. Now, um, they are offering a bonus, like, not bonus, I guess, extra set of ephemera. So if you are somebody who uses a lot of the uh, die cuts, you know that you're going to want an extra set of these. They are selling these individually um, in the shop as well. So it doesn't include the uh, texture. I don't see the texture. I'm pretty sure there was a texture. Maybe not. Anyways, it's just die cuts in the um, a la carte set. So you'll get a set in your devotional kit and then you can order an extra set. So this is 25 die cut pieces and you'll see this really pretty theme as we're all kind of, you know, wishing for spring about now. Um, we don't usually get this kind of weather here in where I'm at in California and we're just getting pummeled with so much water and snow in the foothills and um, I'm ready for spring. I'm like antsy to get baby chicks and get plants in the ground. <laughs> so we've got all of these really beautiful watercolor uh, florals and then there are these cute birds which you'll see. Um, I am going to do a what's in my cart video for this kit. It'll probably be um, sometime next week because I won't film it until this weekend, but I found some fun things to go along with these birds. So stay tuned for that. Um, there are dragonflies in here as well. I have not seen dragonflies in um, any of the Bible journaling kits I've worked with. So that's kind of fun and different. And just all of these really beautiful, you know, clusters, blues and pinks really pretty. So you've got those cooler tones like winter and the blues and greens, but then we're kind of, you know, starting to see little bits of spring in those brighter colors. So 25 pieces in there. Uh, and then you have your stamp set. This is the four by six clear stamp set that's included. Uh, here on the back kind of gives you a an example of ways to use it. You've got this fun texture. So this could be the center of flowers. This could be seeds. This could just be an abstract texture. You can see here, it's kind of like, um, 
you know, texture on the ground or little seeds or something. So that's kind of a fun, versatile piece there. Um, these here, you know, like greenery pieces and that really beautiful large floral. This would be great for that technique that I do where I stamp it in a light color first and then I go in really heavy with acrylic paint and like load up, you know, three or four different colors on the brush. So then every petal is like a whole bunch of different colors. And then when that dries, stamp this over the top of it in black or brown ink. And it just really creates a beautiful image. So maybe I'll do a reels on that. If you're interested in that technique, let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to put together a little short video um, to show that technique that I just explained. And you have a little dragonfly in there and the title poured out. So really great stamp set this month. I love this. I love this big floral. We don't usually see like a large singular floral in this scale. And so that's, that's fun. And to kind of mix and match with your other uh, stamps. And then you have this little packet of goodies. So this is all of your other bits and bobs. That way they're contained and don't stick to anything they're not supposed to. So you have your watercolor swatch card. We have six colors on there this month. Really fun duochrome Adobe. That will be a fun color. Uh, so they pick colors that coordinate with the kit, of course. And um, these are Daniel Smith watercolors. So fine art watercolors. Just takes a little bit of water on your paintbrush to activate these paints. Um, but we do advise that you kind of pick up the color and move it to a separate palette. That way you're not inundating this card with water. Um, but if you're curious about how to use them, there's directions on the back. And then I do have a tip Tuesday, I think about these. Um, and so I will link that uh, if I remember to, or if we just search tip Tuesday, watercolor cards tip tuesday watercolor something like that check out the tip tuesday playlist if you haven't gone through there um there's lots of content i'm sure there's a video about these in there so watercolors perfect since it's very you know watercolor theme for the kit this month so um maybe the, this is something that you don't typically use so maybe challenge yourself to you know try out some watercolors uh this month you have the kit sticker. So this is just an opaque white sticker. This is not a vinyl sticker, so it's not water resistant, um, but it's great for keeping track in the front of your Bible of the different devotionals you have in that particular one. If you have multiple journaling Bibles, I use this. Um, I kind of create a dashboard in my notebook journal uh, for the kit for the month, and I typically use it in there, but you could also use it, um, you know, on the front of a notebook, traveler's notebook. You could use it, um, in a Bible journaling entry. So just kind of a fun, you know, larger sticker for the kit. You have three journaling cards um, with scripture from the kit. I really love this typewriter font this month with that uh, script there. And there is print on the back, which is nice. It's not just plain white. So there is detail. So if you're using this as a tip in, when you tip it over, you've got room to journal on the back and then some icons. Um, if you are not using these as journaling cards, you can cut them apart. So don't be afraid to cut this out and use this as a decorative element on your Bible journaling page. Same goes with these little corner pieces. Uh, so if it, maybe you've already journaled this verse, so you're not going to be Bible journaling, you know, this kit at that verse, cut out all the bits and pieces and use um, those or just adhere it just down this way and use it as a spot for journaling. So a lot of different ways that you can use the journaling cards, but they are great for just having added space to journal in those smaller Bibles for sure. Okay, you've got your clear stickers. So you get two full sheets of stickers. This one has a bunch of dragonflies on there and then you've got some florals and then some washi samples. So these are meant to resemble washi tape but it's not washi material so it doesn't tear like washi tape. I have found if you make like a little snip into it then you can tear it but it is translucent so these just blend right into the bible page. Uh, you can see text through it but just keep in mind darker um, images it is harder to see the text through but it makes it look like you you know painted directly on the page. Now I did see that they do have an add-on that has uh, clear stickers. I think I have them to show you here in a second. So there are some additional clear stickers you can add on to as well. Um, and then you also get the printables, which I'll share with you, um, that have these images. So if you want additional stickers or if you want them on different materials, you do have that option. But here are the two um, sticker sheets. And then even the branding up at the top are cut for, as stickers for you as well. And this one is perfect because there's lots of empty space. So, uh, I have shown, sometimes I will stamp on here and kind of create my own sticker if there is maybe 
Maybe it's really bumpy in my Bible and I don't want to stamp directly in there. I'll stamp on clear sticker paper and make my own sticker and then stick it down in my Bible. So even like text stamps um, or, you know, smaller stamps, uh, it's a little bit difficult to color on here. So if it's something that you're going to color in, maybe not so much, um, but just stamping, you know, black images or whatever, I would use archival ink or stays on ink. I wouldn't use my like chalk inks on here because it probably won't dry, but um, archival inks are fine to stamp on there. Last but not least, you have your alphas and number stickers. So it has this really beautiful, like, um, I think it's florals and dragonfly print in the background. This does go along with the outliner and caffeinated outliner stamp sets that they have in the shop um, that are of the alphabet. So if you wanted to stamp an outline around the letters, you do have that stamp set in there that coordinates with it. Um, these are just opaque white stickers. So they're not clear like these are, um, but that makes it nice because then you can you know, get them to pop off the background a little bit. Uh, and it's just a good font to mix and match with your stamp sets and things like that. And then you do have a set of numbers. There are enough numbers in here if you wanted to number each day of the devotional or use them, you know, for verse addresses or list making, things like that. Uh, and then even the packaging is meant to be used. So you have, this is the pattern that's scaled down in the back of those alphabets. Uh, so you could punch tabs out of this, um, you know, tear off little strips and use them in your clusters stamp on it, die cut from it. So just a fun little pop of pattern in there. So there is a look at the poured out devotional kit. Now let's take a look at the extras that go along with it. All right, so I have a fun little stack of goodies here. First, we've got the flashcard sets. So there are two different sets of flashcards. They are different in the like color design on them. So this is, you know, pink, green, and blues with like a fern pattern in the background. And then this one reminds me of like the unicorns we see at like Target <laughs> with these colors or like rainbow sherbet maybe is what it reminds me of. So it's kind of watercolor splotchy background. So there are different words between the two sets. So there is not overlap, um, but there are, you know, maybe two or three or four cards um, for each day of the devotional. So plenty of words to do word studies if you want to. Um, they do try to package them in order of how they appear in the devotional content with the scriptures that are on them, um, which is nice and makes it really convenient for the study. So you can do individual word studies on these or just use them, you know, cut out tabs, they'll use them as layering bits, um, journaling spots, things like that. I really love doing word studies when I have time. I'm not in that season right now, um, but I really do enjoy word studies. Even, you know, something as simple as the word go, um, to do a word study in that and really see, you know, maybe that all the different, you know, ways that that word is used and different meanings for that word. And, um, so that could be a good one to do. And I love that watercolor texture right there. That like gritty yumminess is my jam right there. So there are two sets of, uh, flashcards over there in the shop. Next up, we have the label stickers. So you get five sheets of labels and colors that coordinate with the release. And then this one here is that pattern that was in the back of the alphabet stickers. Dot grid, line grid, and journaling lines is a matte opaque white sticker. And so it's very easy to stamp on, type on. If I'm gonna type on it, I do leave it on the backer sheet and then just run it through my typewriter. Um, it is a, a thinner sticker, which is nice because it doesn't add a whole lot of bulk to your Bible. But if I'm going to be applying this over like a really chunky cluster or something like that, I do like to, you know, take it off, stick it on a separate piece of cardstock and then fussy cut it out and turn it into like an ephemera piece. But don't be, you know, don't be afraid to do that with these. But um, these are also great for using in a growth book or your journal, something like that. So I know lots of people get, you know, several sets of these because they're just good Good, you know, everybody needs a good label. So there are five sheets of those in the offering labels. Next up, we have the journaling cards. So you get 12, yep, 12 three by four cards. So you get three of each colorway. Um, purple, green, blue, and pink. These are visitor passes this month. So each month they try to do something different. You know, sometimes it's like recipe cards or We've seen um, boarding passes, all kinds of things. So visitor pass this month. Uh, and then there are different scripture 
on the sets. So like all the purple are the same, 1 Peter 2.11, uh, John 15.19. So there are different verses um, on the different colorways. And then the back is just a dot grid with some texture. So again, giving you some additional spots to uh, journal and create. These have, you know, citizenship, kingdom of God, verse to visit, and then observations of that verse. So really just good study tools to kind of help focus your study uh, time. So those are the visitor pass journaling cards. Next we have the traveler's notebook. So they have two different sets of uh, traveler's notebooks. You get two in each set. Uh, I didn't look to see which set I have, but they're marked there on the website. You can't miss it. Uh, so these are standard traveler's notebooks and they are just blank inserts. So like I mentioned, there isn't a whole lot of room to journal directly in the devotional. These would be a great thing to pick up if you need some additional space to journal. Also great for grocery lists and sermon notes and prayer journaling and you know, you name it. It's the same paper that they do for the devotional. So it's that thicker copy paper on the inside and then that nice cover stock um, on the outside. Um, this one has the birds and the flowers and then inside is the same. Yeah. So it is this just uh, polka dot in the inside. So you could even create directly in these. So if you'd rather do that than journal directly in your Bible, you can work in these. I've done, you know, paint and markers and stamping. I mean, it's not watercolor paper, so you have to be, you know, kind of mindful of that, but it is, it is thick paper. So you can do quite a bit in here. Uh, I've also like in the past deconstructed these. So taken out the staples and turned it into like a ring bound book. Um, that is something you can do with these as well. So they're just really Really good kind of foundation for either creating or taking notes. All right, next up we have um, alpha stickers. So you've got the tile alphas. There are five sheets of these and uh, it's alphas and numbers and punctuation and uh, they pair perfectly with the uh, clear alpha stickers. So um, these are opaque regular sticker paper and then these are the translucent ones so they blend right into the page you get seven sheets of these in colors that coordinate again this does pair with those stamp sets the outliner stamp sets so same font as the stickers in the devotional kit and in fact this is the same print as well but the ones in the kit are opaque these are clear so you even have little hearts and ampersands in there this even has like a little bit of watercolor texture in it. Super good. So there are seven of those and then five of the tile alphas. Next up we have stencils and they are good this month. Not that they're not always good, but they are just, they're good one. They're really good <laughs> this month. So you've got stepped spiral. So how fun is that? like illusion that you get with that. So depending on whether you do like the whole thing or just bits and pieces, you'll probably get different looks. Don't forget that you can flip it over and get a totally different look. So maybe, you know, play around with that aspect of it. Uh, it's just a really fun and different uh, texture to have. Uh, and then, you know, whether you do darker colors or softer colors are gonna give you a different look. You can try um, masking things off. Uh, so then that way you can stencil directly into areas. So if you mask off with like some, you know, washi tape and then just go in and ink up certain areas and multicolor stenciling, you can do a lot of fun things with this one. So this is stepped spiral. And then this one I know is going to be a favorite. And I know Taryn and I are extra, extra excited about this one because we've been asking for this. So this is Lush Ferns. Um, there was a stencil for the um, mushroom kit that had like one little piece of a fern in it and we were all just like using that little piece we wanted ferns so bad so they appeased us and here is lush ferns so it's multiple really beautiful delicate ferns uh, on here and it is a repeating stamp so uh, if you're able to see you know the top of this is cut off but it appears 
uh, right here. So you can, you know, continuously repeat the stencil to cover a large area, which is nice. And again, don't forget, you can go, you know, either direction there, but I am excited, excited for this one. I like that it's really nice and delicate and kind of open. So it'll just add a little bit of texture to the background without being, you know, super dramatic and <laughs> obnoxious. So that is, that is what I'm excited about. And if you uh, are new to using stencils, I do have a tip Tuesday on stencils that shows some tips for using them, also giving you some inspiration for different mediums that you can use from them. It doesn't always have to be blending ink through the stencil. In fact, that's probably one of my least favorite ways um, to use stencils. I actually like watercolor through stencils even better, um, which would be really pretty with this um, particular kit. I did do a Reels video. If you just search Lindsay Decor watercolor stencil, we'll probably pull up the video where I show you how to do watercolor through the stencil. But there is Lush Ferns. Uh, here is that add-on set of stickers. So this is the offering sticker set that goes along with poured out. So you've got, this is really fun. I'm curious to see what you guys think about this option of having some additional clear stickers. So you get three, four, five, five of the tall sheets of clear stickers or translucent stickers. Um, this sheet has the floral clusters and a couple of birds. Oh, this one has some beautiful borders. And let me tell you, cause I know you're gonna wanna know sizing it's about seven inch seven inches ish uh wide these would be great if you're doing like the cards in the compact bible um probably even the let me pull out another bible hold on all right here's the one that i've been working in i did just get other side note this is just gonna be a more relaxed video let me grab something else okay so this is the bible i've been creating in recently that's just got the more standard um, two inch margins and it is a uh, like customizable Bible. So it comes just like this where it's prepped and then you can paint on it. But rather than paint on it, I ordered some fabric to cover it in. So this is finally going to get a facelift and not be scruffy and gross looking forever. But this is the Bible I have been working in. So let's see how these stickers, whoops. We'll fix that. We'll go. So yes, it will completely go along the bottom of this Bible, which means probably also the interleaved. It's probably sized to fit um, the bottom of the interleaved Bible as well. The only one that this probably isn't going to cover all the way across in is like the illustrating Bible um, and like the new spiral Bible that I've been seeing around. So they're pretty, pretty good piece of um, border sticker here for you guys. Um, and you get three of those one two three and then there's some little flowers tucked in there as well so they filled out all the spaces with those florals really beautiful okay this one here you have some of those fun more graphic images we've seen them do this a couple times um, with past kits and so you've got line drawn um florals and things on watercolor splotches and then some additional washi strips really pretty washies and then this is really fun these little sheep and I'm really glad these are in here because this is a add-on stamp set that you can purchase um has these little lambs and I didn't get that stamp set so um uh, I've got the stickers and then there are little butterflies as well so really adorable cute little lambs in there and then last but not least we have this has some border elements, some wreaths. Um, the center is cut out. Yay! Oh my gosh, the attention to detail. Um, this one is also, yes, because here's why that's important. Because this paper is hard to write on. This sticker paper is difficult. Um, even with the Slick Writer pens, these are the pens that I recommend. Slick Writers from scrapbook.com. They do a good job on this paper, but they don't, they're not perfect. Um, and so the inside is cut out so you can remove that and write in there and not have to fuss with writing over the sticker paper. So thank you for that by the well for God. <laughs> so really great. So this is an add on set of stickers that you can get um, to go along with the kit. And then we have papers. So papers come in a couple different options. You have um, six by six or six by eight. And I didn't do these ahead of time. Um, 
And so it is the same papers, just scaled down to six by six with the six by six ones. So uh, if you are curious about how to use um, papers in your journaling Bible, Tip Tuesday uh, paper, and I show you a variety of different ways to use pattern papers in your journaling Bible. And I know that might sound like, well, duh, Lindsay, I know how to use paper in my book. But um, there are a lot of different kind of unique ideas um, in that video for ways to use paper. And I show you examples in my Bibles of how I've used it. So here is a look. You get 24 sheets, three of each design. They are double-sided. So here's this side, lots of florals and dragonflies and those birds. This one's really fun with the little, little bird pattern. Florals. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear the rain, but it started raining again, which means there's probably a river running through my driveway. <laughs> this one's really pretty as well. I love that. Okay. And then the back side, these are kind of your more like neutral, they call them breather paper. So not as densely or, you know, deeply patterned, still patterns, but, um, these are kind of easier to write on journal over the top of, whereas this is more of like a statement, uh, piece. So here are these ones here. Really beautiful. I love the softness of the colors this month. And I love the like faux kind of gold or glitter that's in there watercolor. We're going to do all the watercolor this month for sure. Okay. So those are the papers really great for using in your journaling and then stamps. Okay. So like I said, there are two additional stamp sets that I don't have here. Um, what I have here are the five sets that you can get at a discounted price during the new release pricing. So for about a week or so, um, they do a, you know, discount on the kit and you can get these at a discounted price if you order them with the kit. Um, and then there are two additional stamp sets that are full price available in the shop. Um, you can grab those. I'll insert photos here for you guys so you can see what those two stamp sets are. It's a background stamp and then the sheep uh, stamp. But um, these five are only available with the purchase of the kit for the first like week or so. And then they release whatever they have left in the stock into the shop full price. So I do think that some of them have already sold out. So um, they are going kind of quick. So first up we have Creation Redeemed. I think this is going to be my favorite. You guys know I love a good floral, but especially like a wildflower, like a just wild I like the scraggliness of wildflowers. I don't know. Um, and then here's that really pretty delicate fern that's like the stamp set. So, oh, and butterflies. So there are butterflies and flowers and greenery. Love the eucalyptus in there. Oh, obsessed. So there is Creation Redeemed. And then you have Well Done with the dragonflies and then this fun water pump. Um, stay tuned. In my cart video, I will be pulling out lots of stamp sets, I imagine, this month to coordinate. Um, even if it's not something I'm going to be using, I'll pull it out and give you guys inspiration for things that will go along even with some of these stamp sets. So here is well done. I can see um, doing these layered, so stamping on the page and then stamping on vellum or acetate and then doing the wings in vellum or acetate, I think would be really fun. Uh, doing it on vellum or acetate and then using alcohol inks to color them. I have lots of ideas for these. Iridescence, glitter, all the things. So there is well done. Tap his love. So all of these water spigots and spouts and little water droplets, which are really awesome. I love this one right here. And if you did these uh, with the watercolor pencils or Neocolor 2 crayons and stamp them, um, would give you a really loose water effect, which I think would be really great with those water droplets, but really fun elements there. So there is Tap His Love. Worship. So you've got some worship hands and then some floral pieces really a good one to have, especially because hands are hard to draw. 
<laughs> they're one of the most difficult things to draw. So it's kind of nice to have those in stamps, especially if you can't draw. Those are good. Uh, and then in dwelling. So you've got birds, this birdhouse, little cluster, and then a really nice uh, texture stamp there. So here's a look at how you could kind of build up that birdhouse. And you've got your birds, floral. Really, I love that they give you kind of an example of how to use it and pull it all together. Um, really great card scene. So if you wanted to get you know more use out of your stamps, um, creating cards with them, and you know just maybe you've got a day where you want to be creative but don't have time to do like a full Bible study, um, sit down and make some card friends, and then you've got cards on hand to pass out to people, you know, and they're already created. So this would be a good one for that. But um, in dwelling. So there's a look at the stamps. Let's see. Uh, in addition to that, there are some mini file folders that they have in the shop this month as well. I didn't grab those. Um, so I will put a photo of those so you can see them. I have the Tim Holtz die set that does the folders. So uh, I figured I would just use the pattern papers. But if you don't have that or don't want to fuss with all of that, they do sell the mini folders that coordinate with the kit. Uh, and then last but not least, I did just want to point out um, printables. So when you order the devotional kit, you will get a set of digitals for free with the kit. So um, this gets sent to your email. You also have access to it um, through your account on By the Well for God. And so this is most of the graphics from the kit. So you'll see like the clear stickers here, um, ephemera, you know, the die cut pieces. You even have the journaling cards and the alphas and you know verse card all that goodness so if there is something that you wanted to size differently or print on something different um you, you have that option with these for personal use i am investigating and looking into digital bible journaling um i've been using the good notes app on my ipad um for school and i've really been loving it for note taking in that aspect and so as i have discovered some of the little things in the app um i've realized that you can drag over stickers and so I'm going to try to figure out a way to turn the digitals into stickers for good notes um, and see if there is a way to digitally Bible journal in there with the printables. So stay tuned or if, it's, if you're somebody who's really familiar with that, drop a note in the comments down below for me so I can like pick your brain about that because uh, I don't have all the time in the world to investigate it. But it is something I'm curious about um, and just thought it was something I could kind of investigate and share with you guys if it's something you're interested in. But that might be a way to use your digitals as well. I do like to use them in my um, notebook journal. I turn these into like small little tiny stickers and I use them for icons and things as I'm taking notes. So I like that they do include the digitals. And then in addition to the free ones that you get with um, the devotional kit, there is a set that you can purchase. So this is one that you do have to buy separately, but this one this month is really good. So you've got a page of the titles from the devotional. I love when they do this because it saves me so much time from having to create them myself. So I use these in my notebook journal, that um, journal that I will be doing all my notes in. I mark each day with that sticker, but you could also use it in your journaling Bible. Um, don't forget you can scale these down. So, you know, 50% or, you know, 75% makes them a little bit smaller, um, but really beautiful titles um, for the kit this month. And then you get some papers. So if you didn't get the pattern papers, you could do with these or if you're doing digital things that I'm not aware of yet <laughs> these I'm sure would work for that as well so you've got this really pretty the ferns on pink that uh, floral background love this one with the gold and the green and this one here it's almost like handmade um, paper. So I wanted to try to experiment with making my own paper. I know Taryn, um, Wonderfully Made Handcrafting, has done her own paper. Um, but I would like to try that out this month. I'm really, I don't know, midterms or next week. So I'm just hoping if I can get on the other side of midterms, then maybe I'll have some time to do other things <laughs> this month. We'll see. Uh, this one here with the watercolor. So these are all um, digitals in that um, digital file that you can purchase as an add-on. And so you can do all kinds of things with these. I like to use these as fills. Um, I show that in my printables video that I did. I'll try to remember to link that one down below as well. So uploading me, using them as JPEGs in Silhouette Studio and then filling text with the pattern or filling a shape with the pattern and then making my own stickers um, with them. So you can see how I do that um, in that video. So 
there are the printables. There is a full look at the release for Poured Out. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below for me. Thanks for hanging with a little bit looser, more casual video tonight. Um, check out the description box for links to everything. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if it's helpful, inspiring. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.